with a tall ship that took on water during the storm. It's the H HMS Bounty, a replica of an 18th century ship. The Coast Guard rescued 14, but two are still missing. Crews answered a distress call 90 miles southeast of Cape Hatteras. Then on your side is Ava Hurdles, live in Portsmouth now at the Coast Guard Station. Ava? Tom, the survivors were taken to the Coast Guard Air Station in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. None of them had any life-threatening injuries. A daring rescue for crew members of the HMS Bounty located at the time about 180 miles from the center of Hurricane Sandy. The vessel was taking on water in 18-foot seas without propulsion. Winds were 40 miles per hour at the time. The Coast Guard dispatched two helicopters during the rescue to hoist the survivors from life rafts. The 180-foot, three-masted tall ship reportedly left Connecticut last week for St. Petersburg, Florida. Survivors were taken by helicopter to safety as the search continues for the two missing crew members. Now, there's no word yet on why the vessel was sailing during Hurricane Sandy. That, of course, is under investigation by the Coast Guard. We're live tonight in Portsmouth, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.